Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to compare the new MS Fit GTS 3 versus Huawei Watch S. We will see in both of these new devices what we got new and option and we will run some tests see which one will work better. So let's begin here with the Huawei Watch S in the toss bar you can see we have percentage of battery, date, we have some shortcuts, down we have the notifications, in the right we got heart rate that we will try uh, later and do some tests, we have stress, weather, music control and activities, in the app list we have workouts, workouts record, heart rate, blood oxygen, activity record, sleep, stress, breathing, exercise, music control, notifications, weather, stopwatch, timer, alarm, flashlight, sound phone, find phone and settings. This is all that we have in the Huawei watch as very simple watch but very useful things. In the GTS2 we have the toss bar with time, percentage of battery, weather, date etc. And the shortcuts like torch, brightness, do and disturb power saving mode, theta mode, we have lock screen, etc. Down we have the notifications. In the right we have the PAI, activity goal, heart rate, weather, music control, and the shortcuts for the alarm, weather, PAI, heart rate, activity goal, blood oxygen, and basically these things that we mentioned before. In the app list we have PAI, heart rate, blood, blood oxygen, workout, activities, stress, activity goal, music control, weather, alarm, event reminder, widgets, and the settings down below. These are the options that we have in both of these devices. So let's begin here with the GTS2 first. Hard rate is the first option. So let's begin with some tests, see how fast it will measure. You can see we have the statistic that we measured before. And now that we are measuring, we have with colors the hard rate zone you can see right now is 62 this is the relaxed zone gray color it means that it is relaxed blood oxygen is the second option we have to maintain still keep the watch facing up and not move our hands because because it will ruin our measurements you can see right now we have our uh, results in the workouts we have outdoor running walking outdoor cycling training indoor cycling we have pool swimming open water elliptical climbing and we have trail running, a marathon, we can add workouts as well. You can see all the workouts that we can add at the bottom. Now the outdoor running is the first option. So let's go and press go, see what we got. You can see the seconds going, days, distance, pace and heart rate. In the right we have the music control, we have average pace, sudden speed, average speed, altitude and uh, total climbing, total siding, total deciding calories. As we said before, in the right we have the music control. In the left we can add the session or play with the volume a little bit. In the stress we have all the stress activated right now, so it will measure itself. We don't have anything else to test here, so let's go back to the Watch S. In the Watch S, let's go straight to the app list. The first option will be the workouts. In the workouts, you can see we have the fitness courses, 12 of them. We have outdoor running, outdoor walk, indoor walk, indoor cycling, elliptical, rower, and other. Plus, we can add more. We have here high intensities, aerobic, yoga, karate, and plenty of other sports that we can add. Outdoor running is the option that we measured in the GTS2. So let's try that again here. We have heart rate, pace, distance, and time, as well as the heart rate zone. We have steps, sudden's, and calories. Next we have heart rate and pace, all as well as heart rate itself. In the right again we have the music control, to end the session just press and hold the button. So you can clearly see in both of these devices we have very good options for sports and plenty of them actually, so you know uh, much more than you need about yourself what you are doing. We have the heart rate here as well, you can see highest and lowest. We have some statistic and in the top is the real-time result that is right now. 
As I always say, all these data will be saved in the app for us later to check it out. So if you are interested to see how these will look in the app, it, you can see that and how to connect video that we did before. We have the hard rate zones here that I mentioned before. Next, the third option in this watch is blood oxygen. You can see again, we have to keep the watch facing up, keep still, not move. And you can see the results will look like this in the end. It's still measuring and this is the final result you saw the stress as well it's automatic like in the gts2 we have the breathing option you can set from one to five minutes either way it will work perfect we have inhale and exhale like you have to practice and the result will look like this you can see average not bad it says in the end we have the duration and the blood and the heart rate uh, right now so guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.